Hey, this is Scott from Blue Fox Creative, and today we're going to discuss how to make a link on your WordPress page jump the user down to a section on the same page. They're called anchor links. The old school way was called anchor links. Um, but we can't use that old school code. I, I call it, it really is an old school code. It's only code that is used on a straight, standard, static HTML document. They're called anchor links, okay? So basically what happens is when you click the link, it automatically scrolls the user down to a section that you define on the same page, okay? That's what an anchor link is. But unfortunately with WordPress, there's some compatibility issues with this, with this type of, um, I'll call it syntax, the, the way the HTML works. It causes uh, browser issues. Sometimes when you do it, when you click the link, it'll take you off the page. I've had that kind of thing happen. So the way that it's uh, handled on WordPress is that they use a little bit of a different code and they call it a page jump, okay? So we're gonna make page jumps, not page anchors for WordPress, okay? So here's an example. I'm on the front end of my test website and um, there's a lot of text here, as you can see. And I'll just give you an example of how it works. So here's a link that I've created. This is a, this is a WordPress page jump. If I click it, it automatically takes you down to the bottom of the page, okay, right above hello. And if I set, I made a second page jump, it'll take you back. Now, if I click the back key, it takes you right back up to the top again. Now, I'll just, tell you right now the reason why it doesn't put me all the way back up to the top is because the return page jump is above this header here and so I'm going to discuss how to get you to hop back to the top on another video but for now we're just going to tackle making these page jumps okay so let's take a look at the code real quick um, here's how it's done for WordPress you simply make an HTML link. That's the first step. And that's what I did here. If you look on the back end, here's the home page. This is, so here we are here. I'll hit edit page. And I'm going to go into, I've got two tabs on this page, right? I've got the visual, which kind of gives you a visual WYSIWYG type of look. And the text, click the text tab on the right. This gives you the HTML view. And the, here is, the, te here is the, the link that was created, the page jump link. This is what you see here. Take you back to the front page. This link, okay? So this link is this HTML. It is a straight HTML link with the exception. The link starts with a pound sign and then there's a unique identifying text here. I call this one link dash location. So that's how you create the link, it's cut and dry. And to create where that link will take the user, you scroll down and you place um, the following. Div, open a div tag, space ID equals link location, in quotes, close it with a, with a greater than sign, and then close the div. There it is right there. It's pretty simple. Now I'm gonna include this code, it's really not code, it's markup. I'm going to include this markup in my, in my notes below so that you can use it. Um, it's super, super easy to put in there. It's, it's cake, really. Um, let's hit update again. Take a look at the page. Make sure it works. Yeah, it works. Now, you notice how, how chunky when you click these links, it just it, it automatically takes you there. There's no sense of scrolling. There's no sense of travel when you click these links. It's so robotically rigid, you know? It's almost like, wow, did I go somewhere else? You don't, sometimes it tricks the user and makes them think they went to another page. I would recommend that you, you, you don't handle it that way. If you're, if you're clicking these links and your, your theme does this, it means that there's no scroll, um, jQuery scroll installed on your, on your theme. So... You can, do, you can do this. It's pretty simple. Go into Plugins. Okay. Add New. And type in this super popular plugin. It's been downloaded 20,000 times. It's called jQuery Smooth Scroll. Here it is here. 
Ah. There we go. jQuery smooth scroll. jQuery smooth scroll. Here it is here. Okay. So I'm going to install it. And then activate it. This plugin has been built by Blog Synthesis. Okay. Blog Synthesis. It's been downloaded or installed 20,000 times. That's a good number. That, that means the plugin's widely used. Okay. So now I've got it installed. Here it is installed on my system. I'll go back and refresh my page. And I'll click it. La, look at that scroll. Now the user gets it. The user will say, oh, okay, I'm being scrolled down to a section in the page. Awesome. Now, as you can see, the back button is not taking you back to the top of the page. I'm going to address that on another video. Um, you have to make a modification to the, to the actual theme file to get it in there. Or if you're using Genesis, you have to add some, ha add the return code to, um, uh, oh geez, the name of it escapes me at the moment. Um, hooks, that's it. You have to put it in a hook. All right. And hooks are really great with Genesis. And it's another reason why I love Genesis so much. Hooks rock. Okay. So anyway, there you have it. That's how it's done. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, post them to the video and I'll get back to you. You can also send an email if you want to scott at bluefoxcreative.com. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and do it. If you want to subscribe, I'm making a video. I'm trying to make a video almost every day. It's not easy. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So far, I've been doing it for almost a week now. I'm up to 25 videos, I think. So I'm on my way. It's, pretty, it's, been, a, it's been an adventure. I will continue to do it. This is Scott from Blue Fox Creative signing off. Thanks for stopping by.